ABC4 News celebrates 75 years. Good evening, I'm Emily Flores. We thank you for joining us here for the ABC4 News at 5 o'clock on this Friday. We do begin this evening with history in the making. A NASA mission that could give us insight into the building blocks of life is set to touch down in Utah in just a matter of a few days. Meteorologist Thomas Giboy joining us in studio with that story. If you wander around Utah, there are places that feel completely out of this world. This weekend, however, something out of this world is coming to Utah. This is something that is about seven years in the making. It all started when NASA launched the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft. Since its launch, it has traveled to a near-Earth asteroid named Bennu. OSIRIS-REx spent two years orbiting and studying Bennu, but what makes this different and unique is that NASA briefly landed on the asteroid surface and took a sample. We have a lot of collections there, for example, the Apollo lunar samples, um, meteorites from Antarctica. We have comet samples uh, brought back by the Stardust mission, and we have solar wind ions brought back by the Genesis mission as some examples. And uh, we're very excited to have the um, opportunity here to add a new collection to our astro materials collections, uh, carbonaceous rich asteroid material from Bennu. After traveling over a billion miles, OSIRIS-REx is bringing that sample back to Earth. A few weeks back, they actually ran a rehearsal in anticipation of the sample coming to Earth. So we practice a lot for sample return uh, because getting stuff up to space is hard, but getting stuff back from space is even harder. On Sunday, OSIRIS-REx will release the capsule 63,000 miles from Earth. It will then enter the atmosphere and will reach speeds of over 27,000 miles per hour before deploying parachutes to slow it down before it ultimately lands at the Utah Test and Training Range at Dugway in the West Desert around 9 a.m. Mountain Time. This is the first time that NASA is bringing back a sample from an asteroid, and the material sample likely formed before Earth even existed and could contain the building blocks of life. To say that this is a big deal would be an understatement, and Utah will play a vital role in getting this sample to researchers back at NASA in Houston. On Sunday, we'll have a team on the ground bringing you all the latest information both on air and online, where we also have all the information you could ever want on OSIRIS-REx. Back to you. Okay, I you have me hooked. This that's is cool, happening. right? Yes, it's incredible. Amazing. Utah gets to play a part in it all. The thought, it's, it sounds like that movie Armageddon. You know when they land yes. the spaceships on the asteroid to yes. drill? Anyway, we landed a spacecraft on a moving asteroid, mm. and we're bringing samples back to Earth. That's incredible. It's amazing. 